This is the second of four presentations I'm doing on department store camera lenses. In these presentations, we're looking at lenses offered by Sears, JCPenney's, Kmart, and Montgomery Wards. We've already done a presentation on Montgomery Wards, and what we did in that presentation was we looked at a couple of lenses that Montgomery Wards marketed. We tried to determine who the manufacturer was of those lenses, and then we took some pictures of the, with those lenses out in the field to see how they performed. And we're going to use the same approach in this presentation, but we're going to be looking at lenses offered by Kmart. Now Kmart comes into the discussion with a bit of a reputation, uh, not just for photography equipment, but for all of their merchandise as marketing low cost, low quality, inferior products all across the board. And this might not be fair when it comes to their photography equipment. Kmart had existed in one form or another since the turn of the 20th century. They grew through the decades and they grew rapidly after World War II, especially in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. And by the early 90s, Kmart had over 2,300 retail outlets, which makes them a major retailer. Their growth coincided with growth in amateur photography, and they wanted to capture in on this growing market. So they used the same approach when it came to optical equipment as the other major department stores. They would negotiate with their buying power, uh, lower cost, high quality optical equipment from Japanese suppliers. These Japanese suppliers were trying to get more market share in the United States and using department stores was a great way to do that. Now, Kmart offered a wide array of optical equipment, including binoculars, cameras, SLRs, point and shoot, rangefinder cameras, uh, photo accessories, flashes, just about anything for the amateur photographer was sold at Kmart, and that included lenses. So we're going to look at a couple of, of their lenses, and, they, and we're going to see how they operate, see how they perform, and also try to determine who made these lenses for Kmart. So stay tuned. We're looking at Kmart lenses. Before we look at specific Kmart lenses, it may be beneficial to explore how they marketed their optical products. Kmart worked with numerous Japanese manufacturers and marketed all of their optical merchandise under the brand name Focal. None of their optical merchandise was sold under the OEM brand name. I believe that Kmart thought they could maybe build some brand equity with the Focal name, and it also gave them some flexibility in the supply chain. So when you see cameras, lenses, flashes, binoculars, telescopes, and other photo accessories with the Focal brand, that product was originally sold by Kmart. Kmart offered a wide variety of camera lenses. They offered prime lenses, zoom lenses, various focal lengths. They also did a wide variety of camera mounts available for these lenses. You could get Kmart focal lenses with Nikon mount, Pentex K mount, Canon FD mount, Konica AR mount, Olympus OM mount, and M42 screw mounts. So just about every major camera mount was available in a focal branded lens. Now we're going to take a look at a couple of focal lenses and we're going to start with a pretty standard 28 millimeter wide angle f2.8 lens. And I have two lenses marketed by Kmart under the focal brand here, both 28, both f2.8, but it's obvious they were manufactured by different manufacturers. We're going to start with this lens. A couple of clues as to who made this lens for Kmart. One, um, we can see that the lens information is printed on the outside of the filter ring. And traditionally, a lot of manufacturers would put this information on the inside of the filter ring, but this is on the outside. 
Also, we can see that the distinctive grip on the on the focus barrel, uh, which doesn't look a lot like uh, other grips. Also, the printing on the lens is also distinctive. It's a well-built lens, metal barrel, metal mount. But if you look around at other lens manufacturers, you can find a lens that looks very similar to this made by a company named Mackinon. If we look at this lens, we can see that it also has the lens information printed on the outside of the filter ring, the identical uh, grip on the focus barrel, and the printing on the lens looks identical to this lens. So I think we can say with pretty much certainty that Mackinon made this lens for Kmart for the focal brand. Now Mackinon is a, a company that is a Japanese optical manufacturer, uh, got its start after World War II, grew but never became a large manufacturer of optical equipment. They marketed their lenses and they made lenses, prime lenses and zoom lenses, all in manual focus uh, for department stores. I think they worked with Kmart and they also worked with Pennies. And they, you don't see a lot of Mackinon lenses with third party brands on them, but you do see them marketing them in, in the United States with their own brand. They continued on, never got to be a large optical house, they continued on through the 70s and mid 80s, but I just don't think they were large enough to, con to develop their own autofocus line. And they just couldn't compete with the other large manufacturers. And they kind of drop off the scene in the mid 80s. You don't see a lot of Mackinac stuff after the mid 80s. Back to this focal. We're going to take some pictures with this focal uh, lens that we think was manufactured by Mackinac, and we're going to take you, let you take a look at them. These lenses are available on eBay, secondhand stores. You can probably get them for under $20, so they represent a pretty good buy. I'm going to let you see a few pictures I took with this lens. Now this other 28mm f2.8 focal lens was not manufactured by Mackinon. There are some clues on this lens uh, as to who made it. First off, we can see that unlike this Mackinon lens, the information on the lens is printed on the inside or is on the inside of the filter ring, not on the outside like it was on this Mackinon lens. Uh, the grip on the focal barrel or focus barrel is not distinctive like it is on this lens. Uh, the printing of the aperture settings is doubled up, which is not on this, this lens. So my guess is this lens looks a lot like a lens that was manufactured by a company named Cosina. And Cosina is a well-known, reputable company. I believe they got their start in the mid to late 50s and by the mid 60s, they were producing cameras, lenses, other focal equipment, or other uh, photography equipment. And they're still in business today. They are, uh, have teamed up with, with well-known European brands and design houses, and they offer very high-end lenses uh, to specialized photography markets. Uh, I believe this lens was manufactured by Casina uh, because Casina in the early days used third-party marketing houses to sell a lot of their lenses. You'll see Vivitar lenses, Soligar lenses, Etna lenses, Bushnell lenses, all that were made by Casina with uh, different brands on them. And I think this is how they got their foothold and how they grew pretty rapidly in the 60s and 70s. I'm gonna show you some pictures I took with this lens. 
these lens are also very lenses are also very reasonable. Get them for good low prices on eBay and at secondhand stores. So here's some pictures. Take a look. The next lens we're going to look at, marketed by Kmart with the Focal brand, is a 135F35. Now this lens doesn't look like the Macanon or Casino lenses we've looked at. This has a little less elegant styling. It's kind of a clunky looking lens, but it does have a distinctive look to it. It looks a lot like lenses we've seen in the past marketed by Sun Optics. For example, if you look at this Suntar, lens. They look very similar. They have the same characteristics. And I believe this was made for Kmart by Sun Optics. Now Sun Optics uh, was another small Japanese optics manufacturer that grew through the 60s and 70s. Uh, they never got really large. And similar to to Mackinac, they kind of fall off the radar scene in the mid 80s with the advent of autofocus lenses. Uh, I don't know if they were bought out or purchased or just went out of business, but you don't see them after the mid 80s. Um, they are competent lenses, uh, not great lenses. They are kind of a budget portrait lens. Here are some pictures I took with this lens. And let you know if they're worth it. These can be had for really good pricing, $10 to $12, uh, no more than $20. So take a look at the pictures of this Focal 135 F35. take a look at one of the focal zoom lenses that Kmart marketed. This is a focal 80 to 200 f4.5. It's a, a standard zoom lens, not really fast, um, kind of a budget model zoom lens. And when we look at this lens, we can quickly identify who manufactured this lens based on what we learned with the 28 millimeter f2.8. It has the same distinctive features as the Mackinac lenses. And if we look at a Mackinac branded lens, we can see they look identical. I'm going to show you some pictures I took with this uh, zoom lens. These lenses were probably marketed by Kmart through the mid to late 70s. And as I said, they're a budget uh, standard zoom. There were lots of these available uh, in this focal length. So here are a few pictures I took with this lens. Now we've only looked at a few of the lenses that Kmart marketed under their Focal brand. They offered a wide line of prime lenses, zoom lenses, along with a lot of other photography equipment, including cameras, flashes, and photo accessories. Now, Kmart used the same strategy that other department stores used at the time. They teamed up with high quality Japanese manufacturers that wanted to increase their market share in the United States. They sold under a house brand rather than selling under the OEM brand. And they used their considerable retail brick and mortar stores to distribute the product. Now Kmart's reputation for offering low quality, cheap products is not deserved when it comes to the photography side of the business. They teamed up with good manufacturers, including Cosina, Mackinac, and Sun Optics on lenses. On their cameras, they teamed up with Petrie, a well-known camera manufacturer in the 60s and 70s. So they are fine products 
and their reputation for offering cheap, inferior products is not deserved. Stay tuned to my next videos where I'll look at the remaining two department stores that sold camera equipment, JCPenney's and Sears. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.